A light sail is a spacecraft propelled through space by nothing but sunlight. We get it on orbit with a conventional rocket, and then sunlight, although it or any light, although it has no mass, it has momentum, it's pure energy. There are certain missions, as we say, certain uh, uses of spacecraft where a, a solar sail is ideal. Now, I took one class from a famous astronomer in the United States named Carl Sagan, and he talked about a solar sail in the 1970s. And it took us at the Planetary Society, which he started 39 years, and we finally flew one. We flew our first test flight. First of all, we strongly believe it will lower the cost of many missions. Many places you'd want to send instruments can be done much more cheaply with a solar sail. Here's the strange and surprising thing. The push from sunlight, the so-called uh, solar pressure or sun pressure, is tiny. But when you get the spacecraft in space, the sunlight is always shining. And you've seen rockets take off. The engine burns for a few minutes, sometimes a few seconds, sometimes as much as a half hour, and then that's it. The fuel's gone and you're done, and you coast to your next jet destination or get a slingshot around a nearby object, a planet or what have you. But with a solar sail, the sun is always shining, so although the push is very small, it's continuous. We are living at an extraordinary time where more and more countries are what we call spacefaring, including Australia, because it enhances your society. As I say, space exploration is inherently optimistic. And in general, space brings out the best in all of us because we solve problems that have never been solved before. There are two questions that everyone has asked at some point in his or her life. Where did we come from? And are we alone in the universe? And it, if you want to answer those questions, you've got to explore space.